Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins in a laboratory, with hurt but still living dangerous lizards. Lizard moving around leads to a dead doctor covered in blood. Dr. Yang Gi Su, a scientist, hurries to check his computer for results, before going to another lab, where his unconscious daughter, So Yun, is lying. He tells her she'll be okay, and he gets ready to give her a shot. But his plans get messed up when Li Yo Yi, a senior researcher, shows up with the police. She's worried about the damage from Dr. Yang's experiments. She wants him to let his daughter pass away peacefully, but he's sure his formula worked, and he can't stop now. Just as he's about to give So Yun the shot, an agent with the police shoots Dr. Yang, hurting him. Then a huge earthquake hits, making the buildings collapse. Dr. Yang takes the shot while he can, but before So Yun can get it, their building falls apart, leaving the city in ruins. Three years later, Seoul is a deserted place called the Badlands, suffering from a bad drought. We meet Ji Wan, a young hunter in the Badlands, hunting for food. He meets a tough crocodile, and tries to fight it with fire and an arrow, but the crocodile fights back, attacking him. Ji Wan barely gets away and hides in a car, escaping becoming the crocodile's dinner. That's when Nam San, his hunting buddy since the earthquake, shows up. Together, they take down the crocodile, sharing it for food, and becoming known as Badland Hunters learning to survive in this tough new world. In the bleak badlands, Han Suna and her grandma struggle to survive. They depend on the water grandma collects, waiting for Nam San and Jiwon to come back from their hunts. In a nearby place, people live in poverty, relying on a water cleaning machine to stay alive. Nam San and Jiwon return from hunting to find a crowd around their shop, trading goods for meat. In this new world, where regular money doesn't matter, bartering is how things work. When a lady offers jewelry for meat, Jiwon isn't interested, but Nam San surprises her by trading a snake. This shows how life is about survival now, where old money and jewelry don't mean much. Han Suna and her grandma join the busy crowd at Nam San and Jiwon's meat stand. Han Suna sees Nam San like a dad, after he saved her during the earthquake. She gives him a painting she made, showing her thanks and love. Touched by her gift, Nam San gives her a lot of meat. Their peaceful time is interrupted when Yunpaliji, with some thugs, claims to be a cop looking for someone in a painting. Yunpaliji tries to hurt Han Suna, but Jiwon steps in. Things look bad until Nam San defends them, beating the gang. In the commotion, Yunpaliji says the name Tiger when asked about his boss. Nam San sees a water bottle and figures out where clean water is. He boldly claims the area, kicking out the gang. In the middle of all this, a woman tries to flirt with Nam San, showing how things are wild and unpredictable in this new world. Later, as Nam San and Jiwon prepare to leave with their belongings, they notice a gathering at Han Suna's home and inquire about the commotion. The safe haven organization's leader, teacher, along with Mr. Oh and Choi, explain that they are there to take Han Suna and her grandmother. The organization offers shelter food and clean water in an apartment, exclusively for individuals under 20 years old and their families, aiming to protect the younger generation. Expressing concern about potential threats to the apartment's safety, Nam San questions the teacher. Nam, the teacher reassures him, explaining the presence of former soldiers to deter unauthorized entry. The organization's focus is on education employment and the well-being of the elderly. Hoping to bring Nam San and Jiwon along, Han Suna asks if they can join the organization. However, the teacher firmly denies the request, emphasizing the organization's policy favoring families. Nam San assures Han Suna that he will continue to visit, urging her to go for the sake of her future. Before leaving, she gifts Jiwon with a sketch, lifting his spirits amidst the uncertainty of their paths ahead. At night, Jiwon feels happy because of the drawing, and thinks she might like him. Nam San though feels sad, because he couldn't protect his daughter. Jiwon jokes that Nam San should marry someone and adopt him, to get a place to live. Nam San laughs it off, but Jiwon teases him about marrying a lady who sells jewelry, saying he still has standards. Later, they go out at night together. Meanwhile, Han Suna, her grandma, and teacher Nam are on their way to an apartment. They meet other families, including a girl named Li Yo Yi, who becomes friends with Han Suna. As they move, Han Suna's grandma and another old man get tired. The teacher suggests they go to a medical camp for help. Han Suna is unsure, but her grandma insists she go with the others. Mr. Oh and Choi take the two elders away, while Han Suna continues with the group. She sees cars coming to take them somewhere, and asks why her grandma isn't coming and Sergeant Kwan says she'll join them the next day. She wants to leave quickly so two thirsty kids can get water. While passing Sergeant Kwan, she notices a scar behind his ear. 
Meanwhile, Mr. Oh and Choi take Han Suna's grandma and the old man to a hidden place and kill them. Ji Wan, who's out hunting, sees this happen. He tries to stop them, but Mr. Oh and Choi shoot at him. Nam San arrives and fights them off. But then the men get back up, showing strange warts behind their ears. Ji Wan traps one, but the other attacks. Just when Ji Wan is in trouble, Sergeant Lee Yunyo from the Air Force helps and kills the attackers. Afterward, Ji Wan and Nam San bury Han Suna's grandma. Lee Yunyo explains that she's trying to save people in the building. She used to be in the Air Force, and found this building after an earthquake. Dr. Yang, who was supposed to help, did bad things and made kids disappear. Lee Yunyo confronts Dr. Yang, who reveals he's working with Quan secretly. Quan shows how Dr. Yang's experiments work by shooting her friend, who survives. Dr. Yang says his experiments are humanity's hope. Lee Yunyo gets mad and fights him and his team. After failing to shoot Dr. Yang, Lee Yunyo escapes through a window. Ji Wan and Nam San decide to help Lee Yunyo save Han Suna. Meanwhile, Han Suna and others reach the apartment, where Dr. Yang promises a good future with lots of food. At the same time, Ji Wan, Nam San, and Lee Yunyo plan to get past guards in the ruins. Nearby, two gangs make people fight for fun. The trio fights back, with Nam San fighting his old rival, Tiger. Despite the gangs teaming up, Nam San's skills help them win. Ji Wan frees captured people, and Nam San defeats Tiger, capturing him. Back at the apartment, Han Suna asks about her grandma. The teacher says she'll arrive before dinner. Dr. Yang gives prizes to the top teens' families, promising them good things. But later, it's revealed that only the kids get nice rooms, while their families work hard in the basement. They're not even allowed to see their children. Nam San interrogates people to find out about the water source. Tiger admits to trading kids for clean water. He can only pass the barrier when he fathers a child, making it harder for Nam San to catch him. In the lab, Dr. Yang and Quan shockingly eat a whole mouse. The teacher says Han Suna and Li Ju Yi are good for experiments, and need water. In the classroom, the teacher introduces all the girls to the class, except Han Suna. The teenagers seem distracted and have scars behind their ears. Han Suna gets suspicious. The class turns into propaganda, praising Dr. Yang as the hero, and saying they should help him. At lunch, everyone gets a water bottle, and the teacher says it's important. Han Suna decides not to drink it. Dr. Yang shows up and picks Li Ju Yi as the next assistant. Han Suna asks about her grandma, learning she's sick in the infirmary. She pretends to drink the water when reminded. Later, Dr. Yang tests a new serum on Quan. Quan is worried about the two missing agents. Dr. Yang wishes everyone could have the serum, but gives a vague excuse against it. After Quan leaves, we find out that he is still trying to heal his daughter. At night, Han Suna sneaks out of her bed, and Ji's parents protest in the basement, because they can't see their daughter. Meanwhile, Han Suna overhears Dr. Yang and Quan coming, so she jumps off the balcony to hide just in time. Nam San and the others travel through the night in Tiger's truck. In the basement, Dr. Yang tells Li Ju Yi's parents that they'll see their child soon. Han Suna sneaks into the lab, and finds out he's experimenting on reptiles to make a healing serum. She finds Li Ju Yi connected to a machine through a cut behind her ear. Dr. Yang finds Han Suna hiding, and Li Ju Yi's parents are horrified to see her. Dr. Yang tries to explain, showing how he cares for his preserved daughter, in a glass box with a beating heart. The parents try to disconnect Li Ju Yi, causing death. Dr. Yang gets angry and stabs the father. When the mother tries to run, Quan shoots her. In the night, Nam San worries about Han Suna and Li Yunyo. In the lab, Dr. Yang uses Han Suna for his experiment, saying he needs teenagers' pituitary stuff from the water they drink. Han Suna screams in pain as the machine starts. Meanwhile, Nam San and the others arrive, pretending to deliver a package. The guards get suspicious and check the truck. Nam San knocks out a guard and drives through, dodging gunfire. They crash into the lobby, while Ji Wan and Li Yunyo shoot. After taking down many soldiers, Li Yunyo clears the way to the stairs, shooting down the guards. In the lab, Dr. Yang is doing experiments, when the teacher tells him that Sergeant Li Yunyo is coming. Meanwhile, the trio finds a room where Li Yunyo sees his old teammates turned into zombies. They fight and free them, battling the zombie soldiers. As they cut off the zombie soldiers' heads, Dr. Yang says over the speakers that they can live if they leave now. But Nam San decides they should take Han Suna, and damage Dr. Yang's ear device instead. Going upstairs, they blast a door and defeat soldiers. 
Namsan creates a smoke cover with a fire extinguisher, and uses their weapons to beat approaching guards. In the basement, Namsan tells the workers to come out and find their children. At the same time, Li Yunyo and Jiwan fight against more soldiers. Li Yunyo covers Jiwan as she climbs. She fights Quan but struggles against his special abilities. Even after a long fight, Quan shows lizard scales under his skin, protecting him. Li Yunyo manages to hurt him, but gets thrown off the balcony. On the upper floors, Jiwan looks for Han Suna and confronts a security guard. He takes the teacher hostage, and tells her to lead him to the lab. Despite Jiwan's warning for the students to run, they hesitate. Quan interrupts, and Namsan fights him, while the others run away. Dr. Yang gives Han Suna a new medicine in the lab, but she gets sick, because she didn't drink enough water. Strange marks appear on Dr. Yang's body, and he vomits. Before he can hurt her, the teacher and Jiwan show up. Dr. Yang threatens Han Suna, so the teacher and a soldier knock Jiwan out. They put Dr. Yang's daughter in a bag and take the medicine. While Namsan fights with Quan, and throws him out of a window, but Quan grabs Namsan's arm and cuts his head off with the window's edge. Outside, parents find their kids. Jiwan gets hurt in the lab. Dr. Yang, the teacher, and the soldier try to leave, Namsan stops them. Dr. Yang runs away, leaving a grenade, that explodes. Jiwan puts Han Suna on a stretcher to protect her. As the lab catches fire, Li Yunyo wakes up and sees Namsan saving Jiwan and Han Suna. Parents beat Dr. Yang for what he did, breaking the medicine tubes. Dr. Yang gets angry and shoots his bag, which leaks the medicine and kills his daughter. He gets sick and keeps shooting, until Namsan stops him. As the sky gets dark, Li Yunyo says she'll stay in the apartment to help others. Then rain falls, making people happy. Namsan, Han Suna, and Jiwan go back to the bus area. Han Suna cries at her grandma's grave, and joins a new family with the Badlands hunters. Jiwan calls the jewelry lady Ma affectionately. While Namsan leaves, asking to be left alone. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.